But check it out in the background, there's the volcano. So incredible. It's one of the most picturesque things I have ever seen. What is going on guys? Welcome back to San Pedro de Atacama here in Chile. Franny and I are just about to take off to head to Valle de Luna. And anyways guys, I'm not feeling so hot today. I woke up feeling great, had breakfast, had a couple coffees, and then all of a sudden I started feeling kinda crappy. And it's been that way for a while. We went into town and did a little shopping, got some empanadas, which were awesome, but Whew, I don't know what it is, I'm trying to shake whatever it is, but I think just getting out into nature, going and seeing the valles, I'm gonna feel a lot better. How are you feeling today, Franny? Okay. Yeah? See, I had a headache yesterday. Yeah, you're feeling better today. For sure. You excited for this? I am, I have been Shining waiting for this. this. Me too. Waiting for it. Let's go. Where the hell are we? <laughs> Guys, we've made it to Valle de, de la Luna. Check out this rock behind us. Can you see that sparkling? Holy crow. The sun is punishing out here, guys. I'm sure plenty of you know this, but there's a hole in the Earth's atmosphere, in the southern hemisphere, so the UV radiation here is uh, much stronger. So we just lathered on a ton of sunscreen. And yeah, apparently there's a cave here, and it's like one of the first stops along the road, just right over here. I love caves. If you guys remember some of my Vietnam vlogs, I got to do a bunch of cave exploring there in Phong Nha. And yeah, I actually got to fly my drone in one of the caves there, but I don't think this one's gonna be nearly that big. Caverna de Sal. Let's go check this out. Caught in a wasteland, and I don't know what to do. Floating through vacant spaces, couldn't stop if I wanted to. The shade is heaven. Wow, we walked like maybe 50 meters here from the car. We just felt the sun burning us alive. I think the, the rugs are quarzo, babe. Quartz? Quarzo? Quartz? I mean, yeah. Maybe quarzo? Mm hmm. Quartz? I mean, look at these ones. Yeah, check that out. I think so, right? This is awesome. It's natural. Let's go in. Let's go in. Oh, this is awesome. That's so cool. It is. <laughs> I feel like in a movie. Look. If this is all clean, it will be transparent. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> wow. How about that, guys? Holy crap, that is cool. Okay, guys, I think we've gotten to the actual entrance to the cave. What an epic walk-in, by the way. Time to go into the cave. <sighs> Does it stop or it just keeps going? Wow, it's tight. No bats, doesn't smell like poo-poo. What do you think, Franny? It's cool. And it's fresh. Yes. It's yes. Not, feels good in here. There's literally three feet of clearance in here. I'm completely crouched down. <laughs> Franny is lighting it up from behind. You coming, Franny? I'm a little bit tight as well. <laughs> I can see a little light ahead. Awesome, guys, straight ahead. Or straight above, there's a hole leading out, and there's a nice fresh breeze coming down from there. Can you feel it, Franny? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Guys, it's very important to keep your morale up in situations like this. And if you start sweating, make sure to take your shirt off and cool off, maybe with a bit of like kissing and touching. But if the morale goes down, you may as well give up. Wow. <laughs> Thumbnail. Nope, nope. Crazy face, damn. <laughs> <laughs> Franny, there's lights! I think we made it! There's lights! Wow, that is bright! It's so bright! I did it! Oh my god, I'm blind! I'm blind. <laughs> it's crazy living in civilization and in our houses, and then there's landscape like this out there that almost just seems like a fairy tale or it's like fiction movie. some most of the time. Yeah. This is actual earth. This is where we live! Well, not here, but, you know. Is that the right way, Franny? No. I think there's... Nero says to go that way. Holy crap, man. Do 
is too cool. What is this? How is there no one else here? <laughs> it's so beautiful. I literally think we're on Mars right now, guys. No pass R, so I think the trail goes back that way. Back on the top of the world, except this time in the valley of the moon. Do you see that, guys? Tour group. We beat the tour group. Thank the gods. As gravity takes my body out of your stratosphere, I'm combing the skies to light up the dark. Cause I feel so alone out here in this galaxy. Guys, we stopped off at a second point and we're just hiking up this valley here. It's just so incredible, it's beyond words. There's salt covering a lot of the surface around here, but check it out in the background. There's the volcano, so incredible. It's one of the most picturesque things I have ever seen. And uh, the sun is still blazing. Look at this, Franny. I think it's just insane. Look at that. It's really incredible. And when we get to incredible points, you guys know what time it is. Roll the drone montage. that so ridiculous and i don't know if i mentioned this before but right when we got out of the caves 10 tour groups probably showed up guys <laughs> and then we were just ahead of all of them and as i was starting to fly the drone i could see a tour group coming up the hill and right when i finished that got up they got up there so we're gonna keep our pace in front of them but wow i'm not i don't even know what to expect out of this place next like i really know nothing about uh the whole valley here except that it's supposed to have you know the moon like surface. Let's see what we can find next. So we just walked like 15-20 minutes all the way down this road. Our car's way back there. You can't see it anymore but we're out at an old abandoned mine. We just explored through this old building. And look at these side paths, guys. This probably leads back to the mines. There's one going this way too. We're gonna go check this one out. Mars Rock, did you hear that? I did. What was that? We keep hearing like creaking sounds, which makes me feel like it's not stable out here. Look how the walls are built up here by the miners. I wonder how they get this material and then stack it. They must have had just like big boulders of it and then covered it with some dirt. See? I'm not even sure if this like ha like human made because look at the top of it. It's all like... That's true. It's <laughs> ridiculous. This is legitly freaky at this moment. I said we've been hearing cracks. We just heard more. Oh my god, babe. What is it? Come back here. I heard the cracks. Hello? 
it's literally cracking all around us. I'm scared. But check this down here. Is that water? What is that? Guys, what do you think this is? No way. It's so salty. There has to be a little bit of water, clearly. But these noises. freaking me out. These noises are so freaky. I think there's water leaking. Could be. This is the driest desert in the world. If I, from where? If you guys didn't know, we're in the Atacama Desert, the driest desert in the world. <laughs> Just listen, listen. Do you guys hear that? Maybe we should go, babe. I don't know. Sounds are coming from everywhere, babe. Uh -huh. They're like inside rocks. Guys, it's like the rocks are cracking. You know what, though? It is 625 and the sun sets a little after 7. We are advised to go to the major dune where it's, it's the best place to see the sunset here. We still have like a 15, 20 minute walk back to the car and then we have to drive over there, hike up and still catch the sunset. We might not make it, but it's supposed to be stunning. The colors and the shadows. Want to run over there quick, Brandon? Yeah, let's go. Legitly one of the... One of the strangest and freakiest things I've experienced. There's no one here. Unless there's like a hidden mine down there. There's a bunch of dwarves picking away. I have no idea where that sound is coming from. If any of you know, let me know in the comments. But there's literally, you can hear noise coming from the walls. And it's not quiet, it's pretty loud. Inside the rugs. Yeah. All right, to the sunset. Holy shit! A dust devil! That was freaky as fuck. I always seem to make the same mistakes. Just made it over to the bottom of Duna Mayor or Major Dune. But yeah, the sunset's gotta be in like five minutes tops. Golden hour is here. Driving over here, the colors were so beautiful. We got a little hike to the top, hopefully we make it. Guys, fancy. I always seem to take the wrong turn. Well, guys, that wraps up our time here at Bella de la Luna. One hell of an experience, that's for sure. Unfortunately, we caught up with uh, all the people, but for a majority of the day, we were alone. Yes. A vast majority of the day, and that was incredible. And actually, I don't think this is the best spot to see the sunset anymore. No. Because you can't cross the, the dune anymore. But probably over there, or where we, where, uh -huh. where we flew the drone. We definitely should have done it where we uh, flew the drone, but it was still good here. Still good. I still do doing this amazing. I mean, uh, only, only complaints. <laughs> People? <laughs> People. Let's head back to the hostel. You! Woo! I was just laying down for bed and I forgot I haven't done my outro yet. There's not much more to say for today, guys. It was an absolutely magnificent day. One I won't forget for a very long time. And I hope you guys enjoyed coming along with me and Francisco today. Tomorrow, we are headed to the Altai Planic Lakes. They're about 100 kilometers away from here. I think we're gonna leave at like 9 or 10 a.m., get out there pretty early, and then get back here at a decent time. But guys, these lakes are high up in the mountains, and uh, they're in a desert, so they're pretty cool. I'm really excited to see them, and there'll be a bunch more beautiful scenery. But besides that, I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog today. If you did, please hit that like button. Please subscribe, and we will catch you back here for another day of adventures around San Pedro. But that's it for us today, guys. Have a great night, and we will catch you back here tomorrow. Peace, pikeys. You.
Guys, we're in the valley of the moon. In the moon! Where are you, moon? <laughs>